Alright guys, welcome back. I apologize if my uh, voice sounds a little raspy or anything like that. Um, I have a cold right now, so I'm going to do my best to record these next couple of videos for you. Um, but today, I want to show you how I make all my stubs. So there's three things I'm going to go through. So we're going to start with the first one. Uh, it's probably the easiest, just doing the moments and uh, challenges and stuff like that. For example, first inning, the Curtis Granderson program, you get 2,700 stubs. Um, and your evolution player challenges, I haven't finished the Pudge ones, but you get 3,000, uh, 3,050, 3,600, and 3,400. 3, so you get stubs from that as well. You can get challenge, uh, stubs for doing all these infinity challenges. I haven't done those yet. Um, what else can you get? Uh, moments, I haven't done these yet. Uh, but yeah, doing challenges. Um, you can also get stubs from completing XP reward path challenges uh, like for example you get 2500 uh, and then 5000 so you get a total of it looks like 12,500 stubs just from doing the bronze stuff um, that's just an easy way to make stubs the second way to do it is uh, doing conquest maps uh, obviously they're only two right now, but like for example, this one. Let me see how much you get. So you get uh, a certain amount of stubs. So you can get a thousand, two thousand stubs from doing that. Uh, you get a bunch of stubs for doing this one. I've started. I'm almost done with this map, so I've almost completed all the rewards and challenges for it. But so I'm going to show you the main way how I get my stubs, though. So it's happening in the community market here. This is how I've made most of my stubs so far. So what you're going to do is. Uh, you can do, I like to do the golds to auction off, so you go to 84 max overall. You go down and you just find the biggest gap you can where you'll make the profit. So for example, Giancarlo Stanton, he's at 43, almost 4,400 stubs for a sell order of 3790 essentially. So what you do, you go to buy sell, you do create buy order, and you put a buy order in for Stanton. You go, so right now it's at 3,776 stubs. So I'm going to do 3,900, okay? So the, so we're spending 3,900 stubs on John Carlos Stanton. So hopefully when we sell him, we'll make hopefully 400 stubs profit. So we'll put that order in. We'll wait for that one to go in. So that's the goal. So there we go. He's already completed that fast. So then you go back to buy, sell. You go to sell order. And then for right now, it's 4,386. So we're going to do 4,300, and we'll do... 50. So there you go. So we spent 3,915 stubs. So unfortunately, we won't make that much profit back. So let's just see if we can go a little higher then. We'll go 3,080. So again, you know, you're not going to make that much profit on a gold potentially unless you get a good sell order. Um, you just got to be careful with how you do your profit. So we're still going to make some profit off of that. Um, Whoops, hold on. So I'm going to cancel that actually because there was another order that was placed a little higher. Um, so you go 79 max overall. And again, you just try and find a good gap like here, Hunter Runfro. Create buy order. You go 635. Oh, whoops, sorry. I screwed that up. Cancel that real quick again. So again, you know, 79. Hunter Renfro, so now he's going for 650, so I'm probably not going to do that one anymore. But this one's a good gap. Um, you just look for the ones that have a significant gap, like right here, Christian Vasquez. So you go buy order, we'll go 660 for now. Okay, we'll see if that sells. Let's try and go back to sell that Giancarlo Stanton real quick. So there we go, so create sell order, go here, we'll go 40. 4,300, so unfortunately we're not going to make any profit off of Stanton. So I just use Stanton as an example, but again, you know, buy order just got completed for that. Um, you just got to be careful with who you um, buy. Like this Gary Carter, we can make profit with, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to create a buy order with him. So we'll go 2,650. We'll do that. So 2,385 2, is the mark we have to be above. Um, again, this process does take some time. You're not going to make 
you know, 10,000 stubs with five market purchases. You know, it's going to take time. You have to have patience with it. Um, what I like to do is before I go to bed, I like to place maybe 10 to 15 orders. Um, and then when I wake up, hopefully they're all completed by then. You can, And you don't have to just do silvers and golds. You can do bronzes as well. Uh, bronze, especially for collections, sell fast. Um, like this Evan White, for example. You could put a buy order in for 75 stubs right here. Um, this is the one I'd recommend for people that don't, you know, spend money on the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is one I would recommend for you who are kind of like no money spent squads or just grind squads. Um, so uh, th these were the ones I would recommend just buying bronzes for the sell orders because they're going to be the cheapest and the probably easiest way you can make profit. So that Gary Carter just sold. So we're going to hop in and we're going to go back here again to the golds. Where is he at? All the way down here. So I think the mark was 2385 So we go here. We're going to put him on for 3200 So there you go. So our mark to beat was 2385 We're going to be 500 stubs over profit. Throw him in there. Uh, hopefully it was 2385 Yep, so there we go. You got that. So he already sold... So I'll just do one more time here. So you go create buy order. You have to go above the price that's listed. So we're going to go 2700 So we do that. So 2700 Okay. So we just sold right away. So then you go to sell order, create sell order. And then you're going to want to go 3000 and we'll do 185 right? Because we spent, yep, so we're going to make profit again. Because we did 2650 so you're going to make 200 something stubs back. And again, too, you can just do this on repeat as well. If you find a card that's selling quick every time you buy it and sell it, just go right ahead and keep doing that because that'll help you out too. So that's how I make my stubs. Hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, you know, ask me in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help you out and answer them. But yeah, uh, leave a like. If this helped you, let me know if I can help you out any other way as well, how to make stubs, anything like that. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.